Diablo 3 Eternal Collection releases this Friday on the Nintendo Switch, but just how good is it and how smooth does it really run? I honestly have no idea, but we're about to find out. Hey guys, Vampiron20 back again. Today we're going to be taking a look at Diablo 3 on the Nintendo Switch. Now before we get into the gameplay, I do need to let you guys know that this game is going to take quite a while to download. If you're planning on getting the digital version, it's absolutely massive. We're talking 14 gigs. Yeah, it's absolutely insane. So if you're running short on space on your Switch, on your SD card or whatever, you may want to think about getting the physical copy because it's absolutely insane how big this game truly is. Now with all that being said, let's go ahead and actually see what this game is all about. Okay guys, here it is. This is my first time ever playing a Diablo game, so I've never actually played any game of the series. And at the end of days, the first sign shall appear in the heavens. Justice shall fall upon the world of men. The armies of light and shadow will clash across the fields of eternity. Got a pretty cool opening so far. Wow, it looks really we good. Are, are you all right, my girl? It was nothing, Uncle. Just a bad dream. We should be getting you home. But there's still work to be done. If these translations are correct... Wow, it, it looks beautiful. The graphics look really good. I'm actually very impressed. I didn't expect them to be this good, honestly. The, the world must be told of the coming darkness. You do believe me, don't you, Leah? It has begun. It's like watching a movie, man. This is pretty sweet. It's not important. see how good this looks like I don't know if my video is gonna do it justice but this looks very good that, that is a heck of an opening right there guys I've honestly never played a Diablo game this is my first time playing any game in the series so uh, wow it looks the opening looked really really cool it really did now I do know there's multiplayer and stuff like that in this game um, obviously I can't show that off because I'm playing by myself but it looks like you can choose a character here. Um, you can choose male or female. Obviously, I'm going to choose male. You got a barbarian, a crusader, a demon hunter, a monk, a uh, necromancer. I probably said that wrong. You got witch doctor and wizard. Um, I don't really know who to use. Um, I guess if I was have to choose one that represents me, it's probably barbarian, I would assume. A new start. You can participate in a season, it says. Uh, and it gives you... Uh, different uh exclusive rewards so i guess we'll go ahead and do that oh you can type in your own name all right let's see if we can actually fit my name some games don't give me enough characters to actually put my name in so let's see looks like we got enough obviously i'm putting in van buren 20 and we're good to go um you got a bunch of different settings you can even looks like you can do like a quick match there's like a season jury. there's all kinds of stuff guys but for this video we're just going to go ahead and do like the main uh, adventure mode. You got normal, hard, expert, master, and it looks like you can unlock torment 
um, if you reach level 70 with a character. So that's cool. We're going to keep it on normal because, like I said, I'm very new to the game. Um, so I'm not very good, I would assume, anyways, because I've never played a Diablo game. Here's our first loading screen. Let's see how long this is going to take. I'm not going to edit this out. We'll just do real time so you guys can get a, get a feel for the loading screen. I'm actually very interested to actually play this game because I've never played a Diablo game and I'm very surprised I actually got a review copy, so very excited. Act 1. Do we get another cutscene here? I tire of Ooh, we do. Battles I, once craved. I wander, outcast, while my tribe curses the gods who abandoned us. Our home is in ruins, yet I stand firm. Six days ago, the falling star struck the town of Tristram. The dead rose in its wake. What evil is this? Could it be what I have sought these long years? A foe? Worthy of my blade. Now, I'm not sure if the story changes depending on what character you choose. This place reeks of death. I, I do know you get different weapons. Like, I'm a b b barbarian, so it looks like I got, like, a an axe or something. So, that's cool. So, the controls are pretty simple right now. The A button attacks. Looks like the, the right control stick does some type of dodging. And the left control stick actually moves you around. So that's pretty much it for the controls right now. Now, are these zombies? Looks like these may... Yeah, these are like zombies because they're eating this person here. Um, looks like the game's running pretty smooth. I don't really see no slowdown yet. We'll see once more enemies come on the screen, but... I seek the fallen star. It fell on the old cathedral. There was only one survivor, Leah. You should speak with her. Captain Rumford, more dead are coming. Uh-oh. We can't open the gates until we drive them back. They keep coming. Oh crap, he's crawling with no legs. That's kind of messed up. So right now, I, I'm literally, it feels like I'm just playing a hack and slash game um, from the beginning here. Fight like that before. Guard, open the gates. You'll find Leah at the slaughtered calf inn. Looks like they're burning bodies. They're burning bodies. This is like a scene right out of like the Night of the Living Dead. The dead have been a bane on our existence since that cursed fire fell. We have to burn them. Just to make sure they don't rise from the grave. Yep, that and every other horror movie you have to burn the bodies. Zacharum has fallen to this so it looks like you can talk to anybody, that's cool. Block. So shall I care for those who seek to protect us. So this is playing like an adventure game, uh, and kind of like a hack and slash. It looks like you can stash stuff here, but we don't really have anything to stash. So that's kind of neat. Let's see what's in here. Oh wow, an instant load screen. So like, it, it, it instantly puts you in the room. Normally when you go in rooms like this and games like this, there's like a load screen, but there's no load screen here. Okay, so I'm assuming we gotta talk to this person because there was like Are this thing here? over the head. Rumford said you survived the fallen star. I did, but it blasted my uncle Deckard Kane into the depths of the old cathedral. I tried to search for him, but the dead were already rising. I came back here to rally the militia, but- th Watch out, the wounded are turning. Oh crap. So people are turning into zombies, so if you get wounded, it's just like any other zombie apocalypse. You just turn into zombies, I guess. The dead will overwhelm us all unless something is done. I will send them back to their graves. I will save your town. Darn right. You should speak with Captain Rumford at the gate. He can tell you what to do. All right, so now we got to go back to the front of the gate. All right, let's go ahead and do that. But it looks like you can talk to a bunch of different people. Maybe there's side missions. I have no idea, guys. I do apologize. I'm not very familiar with uh, Diablo games, so there is a book over here. I'm not sure what this book does. Maybe Kane was right. 
Even in death, Diablo it's not really letting me do anything. Maybe I just got to wait till later, but I don't know. Let's go to the front of the gate. Like, where I guess that's where we're supposed to go. At least I assume. Yep, got to go back, talk to How this guy. I help fight the risen dead? I admire your courage, but Captain Dalton and the militia were slaughtered by those things. Only I survived. Your warriors will be avenged. Well, I have seen you fight. Strike at the wretched mothers and their queen. They're the ones vomiting out these horrors. They're attacking the barricades! Quest monster. A red dot or skull on your minimap points to a monster you need to kill. Oh, okay. Right, there is just a horde of zombies here. I feel like these guys ain't even helping me. I feel like it's like all me. Like they're just kind of like in the way. There are more of them in the ruins down the road. Like, look at that. He can't even kill that guy. He's like, I have to do all the work. What the heck? Game's beautiful, guys. I, I don't know how well this, uh, you know, my capture card's actually capturing it, but it looks really good. Um, I'm actually a lot more uh, pleasantly surprised than I thought it would be. I'm not sure if I like this character. Um, it's kind of boring just to slash. I wish I would have got maybe the wizard or somebody else, and that way I had like some type of different weapon. Because uh, in a zombie apocalypse like this, I don't think the weapon I'm using would be very practical. Because you kind of would want more of a long range weapon, I would assume. Not up close and personal. Definitely is a barbarian, that's for sure. Leave a comment below, guys, and let me know what's your favorite character to play as in this game. Give me some uh, tips, maybe some tricks. Let me know, because uh, as of right now, I have no clue. Wow, I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting tore up. So as you can see, you just kind of make your way through, and I just got some gold. So you can actually exchange your gold uh, to buy things in this game. There was a shop that I bypassed because, I mean, I can't really buy anything yet because I'm, you know, don't really have any gold right now. But, uh, yeah, guys, this game's pretty cool. Uh, I like it. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Are you going to pick this up on Friday? And uh, I don't really know how much more I want to show, guys. I just want to give you a little sneak peek of the game. I don't want to go too far into the game. I don't want to ruin it if anyone hasn't played this yet. But uh, that's pretty much all for right now, guys. Leave a comment below. Let me know if you're interested in this game. And as always, guys, there'll be more to come shortly. Thanks again. Thanks for watching this video, everyone. And if you like this video, go ahead and smash that like button. And go ahead and check out my website, vanburen20.com, for some cool Van Buren 20 merch. And it is the easiest way to contact me directly.